A symbol of the Canadian wilderness, the grizzly bear is an iconic animal. Though still common in much of Alaska, British Columbia and Alberta, grizzly bears have been reduced in the lower 48 states from an estimated historical population of 50,000 to around 1,800. Most of these grizzly bears are located in national parks. Grizzly bears are omnivores, and their diets can vary widely. They may eat seeds, berries, roots, deer, elk, fish and insects. Grizzly bears can reportedly run at 35 miles an hour, and sustain speeds of up to 28 miles per hour for 2 miles. When it comes to intellect, grizzly bears are pretty clever. The bears can remember hotspots for food even if it's been 10 years since they last visited the area. Some have been observed covering tracks. Timothy Treadwell spent his whole life around grizzly bears, and is one of a few people that enjoyed a close relationship with them. The man has been trying to bond with animals his whole life. However, there have been many instances where that bonding failed miserably. One famous incident is Steve Irwin. His love of wildlife led to his death when he tried to get too close to a stingray when filming. Treadwell lived and eventually died in Alaska among wild grizzly bears. Timothy Treadwell became known as the Grizzly Man because he loved these bears. During his lifetime, he took part in numerous documentaries. During his trips, Treadwell stayed on Big Green, which is a grassy region in Hallow Bay. This is a region well known for bears, and it was what Treadwell called Grizzly Sanctuary. He also spent time in the Khalifa Bay region where he got close to the bears, and he called the region Grizzly Maze. During his camping trips, videos showed him getting close to the bears, with some videos showing him touching the adults and playing with the bears' cubs. While Treadwell made a name for himself, the park rangers along with the National Park Service warned him about the dangers of the bears. Some of the bears found in the region weighed more than 250 kilograms. The rangers told him that nature should not be interfered with in that way. Treadwell continued interacting with the grizzly bears for 13 years despite the warnings, but the rangers said it would lead to his death. In October 2003, Treadwell made a satellite call to a colleague, and this was the last time that anyone saw him or heard him alive. 24 hours later, a search party discovered the remains of Treadwell and his girlfriend. They had been torn apart by their bears. A terrible reminder why we should be careful around these animals. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.